What's going on, you magnificent bastards? It's all done. The 28 Lincoln, it's all done. It ain't pretty, but it's all done. What a pain in the ass. I would strongly suggest if you have this kit, build it, and then paint it. Because there's no way of ruining the paint job. If you paint it first, then have to try to put it together. There's just no way. Um, somebody better than me, maybe. But, uh, yeah. It's a pain in the ass. So, I got it together. It looks all right. If I ain't happy with it, don't look close. One of those, you know what I mean? So I thought we'd read you a little history, and then we'll go take a look. Hang on. All right. So. Over here. Uh, 1928 was a turning point for the Lincoln automobile. Increased driving and stopping power, resulting from a boost in horsepower and the addition of brakes on all four wheels, made it a true powerhouse, particularly when the conditions of the highways during that period were taken into consideration. Um, the Ailing Lincoln Motor Company, a few years previously, had been taken over by Ford. And then the new management of Wayland, who previously worked for Cadillac, started the car on the road to success, which still exists, when many of its peers are memories. Uh, the Dietrich body mounted on an H-frame chassis with 130 or 136 inch wheelbase was typical of the period and is a true classic. Although the underworld of the Roaring Twenties favored the Lincoln for important events, such as his funeral of their associates, Lincoln is accepted as the car of the United States presidents and is used by other dignitaries throughout the world. The power was provided for the new V8 6,314 cubic centimeters. Uh, yeah, bleh. The power was provided from the new V8 6,314 CC engine, which was rated at 90 horsepower. The transmission had three forward gears. Don't say nothing about reverse boys. Hmm. Better not get any, anywhere where you uh, where you gotta back up. You know what I'm saying? All right. With that being said, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Um, I did not put any windows except for the windshield and the mid window in. Uh, all the other ones just. It just look, it looked like crap, to be honest with you. So I looked them out. I like it like this. I built it. This is how she say it. So there it is. There it is. Not bad. Not bad. We had some fit issues with the uh, up front here, as you can see. But uh, all in all, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It is what it is. So I probably had to put the back rack and and the trunk on. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I made it. You can uh, you can take this off and we can put this on. So yeah, it is and it's that way. So yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'll leave pictures at the end. I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take the the hood off. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Um, the biggest part is getting these two sides, getting these two sides to fit on correctly, so that the back will fit correctly. Uh oh, we got a flick of the bulb. So, but yeah, this is our interior. Little wood granage. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. It's going to my buddy uh, Jimmy's girlfriend. Her favorite color is green, so. But I, I personally like it with the. I like it this way. That's how I like it. I think it looks pretty cool that way. Gangster style. So, that light's gonna drive me crazy. Alright, fellas. There it is. 
1928 uh, Lincoln Dietrich. So, all right. Let's go look at the SBD5. I got a little bit of progress. I had a big uh, malfunction last night for some reason. I picked it up. I picked it up. And the part that holds the tire on broke, just snapped right off. Not the whole thing, just the very end of it. Yeah, what a job I had trying to get that back together. So now that the uh, she's all taped, I can start painting. I got my windshield to work correctly so that uh, it'll slide in like it's supposed to. That done, so. Oh, oh. Let me put my oxygen on. Where? Pain in the ass. Yeah, hell yeah. So. That's why I am. I can start painting the SVD. Everything else is done. Uh, tail hook. Tail hook's all done. That was supposed to be a decal, but I tried to put the decal on and, and it just broke up. So I ended up just taping it off and painting it. I should have done that in the first place anyway. So yeah, these decals uh, ain't that good. It's an old kit. I don't know how old it is to be honest with you. I don't think it's that old. Nineteen ninety six. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, 18 years? 96, no, 17 years. So, Jesus. All right, there we are, boys. There we are. When I get more done on the SBD, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. Just that stopped raining out here. We got a little, actually, we got a little sunlight. You can see a little bit of sunlight behind me. But, uh, yeah, I've been raining here since Saturday, Friday night. Well, the river's up, but we didn't get as much as they said we were going to. That, that stayed mostly on the coast like the last one. Thank God. I lit a candle. So, I said a prayer to the beavers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we are. That's the... The Lincoln is done. That can go in the books. Uh, finish this SBD, and then the uh, car was... Uh, Kyle's um, pickup truck build is coming up October 1st. That's what, Monday? Is that Monday? Yeah, I think it's Monday. Fuck, October's here already. Good Lord. Where did the year go? Oh, my God. I can remember my dad telling me when I was young. You're not going to believe this. But the older you get, the faster the time goes. I think I was like in my early 20s when he told me this. And I'm like, what? And he's going, you'll learn. You'll learn. The older you get, the faster the time's going to go. I said, okay. He was never wrong about anything, man. He gave me a piece of information. I stored it away because I knew, I knew it was good stuff. And uh, yeah, he's spot on, spot on. Good God. Here's to that old bastard. One of the best guys you ever meet in your life, man. One of the best guys you ever meet in your life. I'm proud to call him my old man. I hope he was proud to call me his son. That's all I ever asked. All right, let's not get mushy. So, like I said, when I get more done on this SBD, hopefully the next time you see it, it'll all be done. Uh, I got a couple of things to uh, put on the bottom. I was waiting for the some of the uh, masking that I used to dry. Now I can, a couple little things I got to put on the bottom and then uh, paint in the way. I'm going to do it by hand. We'll put on a couple of, uh, a couple of skim coats and uh, 
She's going to be medium blue, and it's supposed to be navy blue, but I, the only thing I have close is uh, royal blue. So I'm going to use that. Sue me. All right, you magnificent model building bastards. Everybody take care. I hope everybody's all right. Hope Brian's wife is doing good, and Jeff Wallace's granddaughter is okay. And so, yeah, Mark from Montana. I hope he's doing good. I was watching him and his son paint figures. That's always cool to see father and son going on. Even, I don't care how old they are. <laughs> so, cool stuff, guys, cool stuff. Peace out.